Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Medieval Dynasty, the 2.0 version. So we're going to start by optimizing Windows, and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game, first of all, in the window mode, I really recommend to go in full screen. Uh, I had like some random stuttering in borderless or window mode. So my recommendation and make sure that you're playing full screen. Also, make sure that you're playing your native resolution. Uh, I don't know why by default the game was at 1080p and my uh, monitor is 1440p. So super important to look at this. Make sure also that you have the proper A spec ratio. You have two uh, rendering modes, so two different API. You have DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. Honestly, if your video card is like three years old or something like more recent definitely start with DirectX 12 it should be better on my hand on my nvidia card it was pretty good but on my old uh, amd card uh, DirectX 11 was better so do some testing with that if you have like your old pc probably DirectX 11 will be better for you after that for field of view Field of view, honestly, it if you put more, uh, you will see more in, in, in front of you. It's more larger. So you're going to have to render more stuff in front of you. So you're going to lose FPS. So don't go too crazy with this one. I start with 90. And if you're playing on a very old computer, maybe go at 80. Do some testing, but it can definitely affect your FPS. For VSync, uh, I just don't use any VSync in any game. I don't like the input lag that you can add. But honestly, in this game, it's not like you're not playing Valorant or Counter-Strike. So you can activate it if you don't like those uh, tiering line that can appear if you don't use VSync or you can use other technology like G-Sync or FreeSync from uh, Radian. So question of preference. Frame rate limit, I just limit it with the amount of Hertz on my monitor. So for me, it's 240. If you have a 144 uh, Hertz uh, monitor, just go with that. Uh, I want to mention some people sometimes like to just unlock the FPS because the input lag is a little bit less. But the thing is, if you're playing on, for example, on a laptop with a 60 Hertz monitor, sometimes you can have thermal issue because of that. So don't go too crazy with this one. After that, for the preset, the first one is your view distance. This one is pretty important uh, if you want to see uh, further in front of you. I like to play at eye, but it's it consumes a lot of resources. So medium should be the best uh, setting for people with not like a very good computer. Uh, if I compare for each bracket, you can expect 5% boost in your FPS. So I recommend to start at eye, do the old guide. And if you're still struggling with FPS, definitely go with medium. Anti-aliasing, I recommend to, with low, you will have 8% boost in your FPS and the game also will look a lot better, uh, less blurry. You can go medium if you feel like you have too, too much like line breaking on across the object and stuff like that. I know a lot of people don't like that with the aliasing, so medium should be fine. But when you go at ultra, honestly, you're losing a lot of FPS and the game looks blurry. Post-processing, I recommend to go with low, better visibility and set 7% more in your FPS. 
Shadow, this is pretty much the parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. So ultra to off, you can expect 25% boost in your FPS. So this one is huge. Uh, the game looks a little bit flat without Shadow and without NBL inclusion. But uh, you will have a, a really good amount of FPS if you disactivate it. Texture quality, honestly, if you have 6 gig and more of VRAM on your GPU, you can run ultra, 4 gig high, 3 gig medium. And if you have less than 3 gig, go with low. The last one is, uh, sorry, the, not the last one, uh, Effect of Foliage will be the last one. Uh, go with low also. If I compare um, Ultra versus low for the Effect, it's more like it will stabilize your FPS. You will not necessarily gain a lot of FPS like straight up when you're just looking at, at your image, but all those Effect can tank your FPS and getting some random drops. So my recommendation is go with low. And the last one, Foliage. If you want a decent image quality, I recommend to go medium. I just saw 2% difference between low and medium. So my recommendation is probably medium, except if you really struggle with your FPS. If so, definitely go with low, but medium should be fine. After that, ambient inclusion unchecked, uh, SSGI unchecked, those two. You can expect a nice 8% boost with that. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my medieval dynasty uh, video for the 2.0 version. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.